Transfer and Interaction yang terhormat Pak Fasli Jala yang berbahagia Pak Anwar and Pak Ron Distinguished guests, uh, my dear colleagues and friends, ladies and gentlemen Very good morning to all of us, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So uh, I usually speak very very fast so I hope I will be able to finish all my slides within the other bit time And please uh, allow me to speak in Gadu-Gadu language, maybe some Bahasa Indonesia, some uh, in English. Uh, I'm standing here um, both as the president of the Asian Association of Open Universities, but of course uh, I'm also the uh, rector of Universitas Terbuka of the Indonesian Open Universities. So the introduction is a little revision. I was the vice rector for academic affairs, but um, has been promoted. Uh, about half a year ago as the uh, president of the university. Um, so let me start my presentation with the first slide. Um, help uh, with my slide, please, operator. Thank you. Um, as we see that... Um, hmm, okay. The nature of a distance education has obvious um, element and its design and development and also in implementation and a strong possibility of collaboration, collaborative works for distance education uh, for implementation continuous professional development. I would like to start with the concept of open and distance learning as the theme of this um, conference is open distance and electronic learning. The uh, open and distance learning uh, actually is a system which combines the philosophy of open learning and the system of open education. And open learning is, um, is sort of a vision where we can have an education that is open to um, everyone without any restriction at all. And because the nature of distance education with its flexibility, it is considered to be the most uh, or the closest system that would uh, enable us to open our education system. And uh, as the um, changes of social economic phenomena in the four last decades, for example, um, it has modified the patterns of requirements for education and also the advancement of uh, technology, including the um, information and technology, uh, communication technology, and also in the service industry have changed in time and forms uh, and it has required um, changing skills all the time uh, in the labor market and this has resulted in the very high demand for professional or continuous professional education. Uh, this next. Uh, okay. Um, I would also like now to introduce that the um, concept of ODL and also the rise needs in uh, continuous professional education has promoted uh, the type of uh, uh, educational providers in the model of open university which was initiated or uh, probably introduced by, uh, by the United Kingdom uh, which established the first open university in the world uh, called the Open University of United Kingdom um, and it's just you know, better known as just the open university so when open university um, has got generally meaning as a model of educational provision through open university system, but also has been adopted as name of the universities themselves. So for example, in uh, UK or the first one, it is called open university. But people know that would mean that this is the open university that belongs to the United Kingdom. And Universitas Terbuka, for example, literally means open university, and it belongs to Indonesia. So everyone knows when it says Universitas Terbuka, that is the Indonesian Open University. And OUM, actually the name is Open um, University Terbuka, Malaysia. And then there is uh, Open Unit, Sukotai Kamatirat Open University, or the Philippine Open University. So, and uh, the first, uh, the main characteristic of the open university system is of course the utilization of distance learning methodology as the main instructional uh, delivery system. And uh, another important characteristic of open university is the open entry of an exit policy, which